Well, hi everyone. Uh, so today we are going to uh, download FF, uh, FFmpeg. Uh, so if you're a developer and you are dealing with uh, video files of various formats or um, audio files, or you want to uh, do some changes in, do some manipulations in video or image. So you need a software package which can do these changes. Now a good one, uh, I should say an open source one is FMpeg. So what it is, it's a free software package. So it's if you go to fmpeg.org, you can get these files, okay? Now, fmpeg is a free software project, so it includes libraries and various programs which can do the manipulation of any multimedia data. So it's whether it's MP4, JPEG, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, not JPEG, AVI or MKV. So these are video formats, right? So uh, it can do various types of activities, manipulative activities such as resizing, denoising, packaging, streaming, uh, these type of activities can be performed. So let's say you are making a video editing software. Now that software needs to divide, or I should say uh, split the audio and video to do some changes in the videos. And that's where you need FMPEG software to do those changes. Having said that, let's see how we can install this program, this framework in our system. So first we need is to download uh, FMPEG, so we will click on download, and based on the system we have, either Linux, Windows, or Mac, we are going to choose the program file. I have Windows, so I will go and select the first one, because this is the latest and the best build so far. The most stable, I should say. So, gyan.dev, I'm going to download it. But if you see, there is this package. Now, that this package comes in .7z file, so we need a zip file, a zip opener program to open this type of file. And if you go to 7zip.com or .org, you can download the executable file. So I will just download and execute uh, the zip opener, and then I'm going to install this uh, program right here. But now I have uh, downloaded the FMPEG zip folder and the 7-zip opener software. Well, I, I should say extractor. So I've installed the 7-z extractor. So let me go ahead and show you the, the software. It looks something like this. You don't probably need to open this software in any time. All you have to do is extract. So now that I have uh, downloaded fmpeg.7z folder, I will find it out where it is. Turns out it's here. And I'm going to extract right here. Uh, let me see if there is an option. Mm, more options. 7z, yeah, 7z extract here. Probably because I had the new version of... Uh, Windows, Windows 11. That's why it wasn't giving me all the options here. I will rename because the name is too large for saving it, it in any path. So I will rename it as FM Hike. Yeah, that's it. And then all I have to do is take this folder and copy in the root folder or Windows. So I have to copy this folder and take it to my root folder, which is, I believe it's a, uh, C, yeah. In the C file, I have to dump it. So I will paste, it's done. That's, uh, that's about it for this step now that we have downloaded FMPEG and stored it in our uh, system folder, which is Windows C folder we have to do now is to take this path and store it in, in our environment variable. Well, now that you have successfully placed your FMPEG uh, folder in the Windows C file, the main folder or the root folder, all you have to do is go inside the FMPEG folder and click on bin and select the path. So if you have Windows 11, uh, then you will get this copy as path, or you can also click on the search the, the address bar and just copy this. I'm going to copy as path here. And now we have to add this uh, folder path in the environment variable for the system to recognize that we have clearly added FMPEG in the system. So all we have to do now is to add environment, edit the environment variable. So user variables need, uh, not the system variable, the user variable uh, needs to be changed here. So path, and I am going to add a new path which will be for FMPEG. I already did. If you are if you are doing it for the first, first time, you have to edit 
or probably add a new one and then just paste your path here. After you're done, you have to hit OK, OK, and that's it. That's done. Now, now one last step, which is left after you have uh, edited the environment variable of your system is to check and verify if the said FMPEG software is installed correctly or not. To do that, you have to open the command prompt and write a prompt. So select the com command prompt and right click to run as administrator. Hit yes, and now you have to run FMPEG to see if you have FMPEG or not. Seems like I do have FMPEG, but let me check the version of it. So FMPEG um, space dash version. Now if I hit um, enter, I will see that the latest version is there. If you don't have it properly installed in your system, you will get an error. The error would probably say not found or something related to that. So you have to go through all the steps again and reinstall. So that's it for this video on how to install FMPEG. Now moving on, we will see how we can use this uh, FMPEG package to manipulate videos, change, uh, do certain types of processing, image processing and data science and all those activities. Thank you so much.